I'm Lottie Whittingham from Metal Temple and I have Dushan Petrosi from Magic Kingdom on Skype with me this evening. So how are you, Dushan? Dushan. Well, fine, thank you. Thank you. Um, so your band, Magic... I'd like to find out a bit more about Magic Kingdom as I've a relatively new listener. Um, so why the name Magic Kingdom, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I just uh, think it was something... Uh... I came up in '98 when I wanted something like you know, you know, very like fantasy. It fits well the band and the energy yeah. of the band and the melodic side of the band, maybe. Yeah, sure. Yeah, a lot of people have asked me, "Oh, it was, oh, is it Disney? Disney? Disney Metal?" No, no, no. There's a lot of uh, same questions. You know, it's uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, I don't. Know. When I when I started with that name, I didn't I didn't even know that you know that there's a. Is Disney uh, Park with the same yes. name? But anyway, I don't care. No worries, <laughs> no worries. Good. I like Disney, so that you're good with me. That's fine. Um, who are your personal influences, like musically? Oh, you know, it was in the 80s, uh, <laughs> I listened a lot to Iron Maiden. More stuff, like a lot of guitar players from the 80s, you know, I was sure. a kid. And I was uh, learning uh, everything from them, and later in the mom scene, Michael Romeo, and all the Meolas, guys like that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a lot, a lot. <laughs> I try to make my own sound. Sure. <laughs> yeah, of course. And for those who've never heard Magic Kingdom before, how would you personally describe your sound? Symphonic uh, epic speed metal with uh, very catchy choruses <laughs> and uh, guitar solos. <laughs> yeah, I, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Um, Let's mainly talk about your new album, Savage Requiem. I loved it. Thank you. It it was one of those <laughs> albums that makes any tedious task like going to the shop sound like an epic quest. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, I really wanted to make a kind of uh, album that could stay in the years uh, like a classic, you know, in, when you hear uh, albums like uh, Keepers of the Seven Keys uh, from Halloween or, uh, you know, early Iron uh, Maiden stuff. But I wanted something shorter than the previous album was uh, okay. a double album and it was long with long orchestrations. And right. I wanted uh, something shorter, m more powerful, uh, you know, eight, nine songs, ten yeah. maximum. And, uh, you know, I think uh, we succeeded in that way to make something very, very catchy. Yeah, and looking at the reviews, uh, including Metal Temple, giving it 10 out of 10, it looks like the reception from the press has been really positive. Yeah, for the moment, so it's all great, yes, I'm very happy, yes, you're all, all happy in bed. Uh, and uh, have you received any feedback from the fans about your work, about the latest album? Oh, yeah, 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 of course, but, uh, you know, the, it, it was just released uh, Friday, so, yeah. Friday, so, but, you know, the people who heard the, the, the stuff are really happy, the, 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 a lot of fans already uh, uh, pre-ordered that on the Facebook and on the website, and uh, they just received it uh, a few days ago, and uh, it's uh, really, really well, 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 Fabulous. it's uh, very great, they all love it. <laughs> That's brilliant, and... Uh sort of looking at your Facebook page like you release some facts about each member of the band and like you being interested <laughs> yes. in the astro is it I think astronomy and fantasy is that influence your songwriting yeah sometimes it depends what song and if I need a subject to talk about and or uh, write some lyrics yeah yeah why not it, uh, it could be anything you know something I like something that influenced me a lot and you know yeah I love that kind of shit <laughs> Yes, uh, the song titles definitely suggest suggests that the Dragon Princess. There's some good songs on there. I love it. Thank you. And uh, it's, I, from what I understand, it's your first album with your brand new vocalist, Christian. Is it? Christian, Christian Pannen, Yes. Christian Pan. Um, you say he sort of brings out something in Magic Kingdom that wasn't there before, if I remember reading the press release, Chris. Yeah, well, yeah, I, you, I was never completely um, satisfied with the other singers I had, because, uh, yeah, they were great, but there's something missing, and the Christian had that passion in the voice, that power gives 100% on uh, every, every fucking, um, you know, line, so, so uh, that's what I wanted. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people... Uh, 
but loved all of fire before in this and then the other the, the older album um, they're gonna love him also because he's completely in a way it's different but it's the same you know it's the same yeah. kind of melodic singer but he's got a lot of technique he's a great vocalist and he's also a good pianist and yes. uh, yeah, for me it really fits the band and the style uh, very very well yeah no you mentioned that yes I do agree I did listen to one of your previous ones and yeah I, there is a big difference and I think yeah it does it does bring it to life it does bring it yeah it was it's I don't say it was bad but the, no it wasn't it, bad well, no of course great, but that's there's, there's this little this little thing you know what I mean but that makes it better for me yeah so like give it a bit more oomph so what's your general opinion on the internet now particularly the social oh. networking and stuff Oh, uh, you know, it's helpful. For, uh, of course, it's, uh, it's internet is great, but uh, it's, it's, in a way, it's great to make the you know uh, a lot of promo about the band, and uh, you know, uh, everybody in the world is everybody is connected now, and it's good for the band and for for us, of course, and for uh, for for, for uh, to make this band you know uh, well known and more and more uh, people uh, more spread it and more the more it's, it's, it's great for us, but in an, in a, another side, you know. Yeah. On the other hand, it's very bad for the sales because now everybody they can uh, just click on a link and get the album. And uh, if you don't get the, if you're <laughs> not too lazy to to go buy it or order it, then something it's uh, it's missing in, a, in the budget for uh, for the next album. So it's you know it's uh, in a way it's good, but in a way it's also yeah. not good. So uh, <laughs> we have to sort out you know for next album budget each sure. time because it's uh, harder and harder each time. Yeah, um, you talk about album budgets. Would you, have you, yeah. Are you familiar with something called crowdfunding? Uh, f not a lot. We just tried a bit uh, uh, for the drums recording, but uh, after we didn't, uh, we didn't want to do it that way for a moment, and uh, you know, we invested ourselves, and uh, yeah. it was a risk to take because uh, uh, I didn't want to stay with the same label, and sure. uh you know, you never know when you you can find another label, but that's true. Yeah, uh, we found another great uh, label, so it's all, all in order now. It's good. <laughs> yeah, AFM Records, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a really good label, I think. Um, I'm just wondering, um, will there be any shows to promote Savage Requiem? Yes, yeah, we are working on that for the moment, and uh, there is going to be uh, as much as we can have gigs in, in, in Europe, in England, in France, in Germany, in Spain, yeah. in Belgium, Belgium, everywhere we'll try to play as much as we can. That's why I really needed this, these new guys in the band because this is three members now and, uh, yeah. and all want to play live like hell because anyway there's no other choice for a band now to survive, you need to play as much as, as, much as you can yes. and this is uh, what we all want to do in the band now and uh, we are like brothers in the band, and we, are, we feel very great all together, and we want to <laughs> share the stage as much as we can. Yeah, that's fantastic. And do you think about coming over to the UK? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, <laughs> yes. Our drummer, our drummer is from UK, so we oh, will, uh, right. we'll, we'll oh, come for sure. He's uh, from uh, rugby. Rugby. <laughs> yeah. Up north. Yeah, I'm pretty sure to visit down south. That's where we're ba That's where I'm based. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he knows you. <laughs> maybe we know each other. Uh, not yeah. sure. What I think rugby, if I'm not mistaken, my geography is really not good at all. The, I think near the Midlands. It's uh, it's near Birmingham. That's right. So it's north, and there's. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, there's there's a known rivalry between the north and south, but not in metal. Not in metal. Yeah, we we, reco we recorded the drums there over there uh, with him uh, in August. And Spent two three days in, oh, in England right. was great. Yeah, Do you yeah. Like, like England. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there is not a lot of sun, but it's cool. <laughs> oh, but oh, but it's not Belgium. No, yeah, that's yeah, that's normal for the UK. <laughs> the no no sunshine either in the, in our summertime. No. Um, <laughs> sort of speaking of Belgium and UK, um, do you notice the difference in the metal scenes? Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's a what you know. In Belgium, it's, it's a more you know hardcore, you know black metal band, death metal band. There's not a lot of melodic uh, melodic uh, bands signed on the you know with the 
uh, record uh, contract company. And you know what I mean? It's uh, I don't know. There is bets everywhere, but you know, if you want really make it uh, seriously with a career, yeah. and, uh, that is totally different. And, you know, I know in England uh, this uh, country of hard rock and metal. Of course, we love we love all the bands from yeah. UK. That's a lot. There's a lot of band coming from there, but in Belgium, it's, yeah, there, there were some names, but you know, yeah. the, the, the problem is to stay in the years, and you know, after ten, fifteen, yeah. you can't give up after uh, you know three, four years. And I, I don't want to give up, you know. I'm there absolutely. for absolutely. I, I don't want to give up on my music yet. <laughs> no, of course, don't give up on your music. Your music's great. Music's yeah. great. No, but no, I did. No, I do see a point about. Belgium being about sort of black metal, death metal. Because when I first when I first heard you guys, I thought you were like from say well, I don't know about Germany the or yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Germany. Uh, there's more a bit more uh, melodic metal <laughs> yes. uh, bands over there. Uh, but in Belgium, it's really more aggressive style. Mm. But I like it also. It's I just yes. don't play. It. Uh, I have some part of it, uh, you know, more aggressive part in some of the songs, and yeah, you know, just... some fresh parts, some you know, yes. black metal beats. Uh, it depends. Not so much on this new album, but no. uh, on the next album we'll uh, we'll, we'll make it a bit more, uh, you know, some more progressive stuff. You know. Yeah. So, uh, just to sort of round up, uh, what's the pl- what's the plan for the rest of 2015 for Magic Kingdom? As I told you, we're now gonna try to promote the best we can, and uh, we're gonna try to tour as much as we can, and uh, that's uh, the best we can do now. And uh, we'll see. Uh, I hope uh, the next album won't be released in five years, because I'm, uh, I really want to make it shorter now and very, uh, uh, you know, yeah, very, very, very soon. Sooner, yeah, I mean, soon. maybe in 2016, uh, there's gonna be another album. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Dushan. You've been a pleasure. Thanks a lot. Mm-hmm. Um.